In this example, we want to show that the floor function is not differentiable at x equals 0 using the alternate form of the, def of the derivative. Okay? Um, and so the we have in this box is the alternate form of the derivative. Okay? So we want to use this definition to show this. All right, so we have f prime of 0 is going to be equal to the limit as x approaches 0 of our floor function minus f of 0 all divided by x minus 0. Okay, so for this floor function, um, f of 0 is just going to be 0. Okay, so that means we have the limit as x approaches 0 of the floor function, okay, uh, minus 0 over all divided by x. So we have the limit of the floor function divided by x as x approaches 0. Okay, so over here uh, in this graph, this is the uh, floor function. Okay, all right, so this is the graph of. Okay, so that's the graph of this, okay, the floor function. All right, so we need to look at the left and right hand limit. Okay, so let's first look at the right hand limit. Okay. okay, so we're going to take the limit as x approaches 0 from the right side. So we'll take the limit of this expression, okay? All right. So the limit of the f of the sorry, the limit of the floor function divided by x as x approaches 0 from the right side. Okay. All right, so going to um, so looking at the graph here, okay, we know that if we take the floor of 0, uh, we're going to get 0, okay? All right, so this part, okay, in the numerator, as x approaches 0 from the right, this is going to be 0. However, in the denominator, okay, um, as x is, remember, x is approaching 0 from the right, okay, uh, so this is getting smaller and smaller, okay. So we have a we have a fixed number zero some divided by something getting smaller and smaller. Okay. All right, and so um, that means in this case uh, we're going to end up getting zero because no matter how small, right? We have zero on, t on the numerator divided by something very small. So the overall result here um, is that we're going to end up getting uh, zero. Okay. Okay, all right, and now let's look at the left-hand limit. Okay, so we're going to have the limit as x approaches 0 from the left of the floor function divided by x. Okay, all right. So again, looking at the graph here, uh, this is the graph of the floor function. So as x approaches 0 from the left, all right, so as x approaching 0 from the left side, okay, okay, uh, it's going to, it's, going to approach, it's approaching negative 1, okay, all right, and just to recall that if x is approaching from the positive side, right, so if x is approaching from 0 from the right, uh, that result was, it was approaching 0, okay, all right, 
Okay. So for the all right. So with that in mind, okay. Um, so the top part, okay. Again, as x approaching zero from the left for the of the floor function, this is going to be minus uh, one. At the same time, the denominator is getting smaller. Okay, so we have minus one on top, so we have a constant divided by something getting smaller. So that means overall, the overall result is that this limit is going to approach uh, infinity. Okay. And keep in mind here, so it's negative 1 on top, and x is approaching 0 from the left. So that means x is a negative value. So we get a negative divided by a negative. So this is going to be positive infinity. Okay. So you have minus 1 over something getting smaller. Okay. And x is approaching 0 from the left. Okay. So that's why we get a positive infinity here. All right. Okay. So the, the, uh, the right-hand limit we got was 0. And the left-hand limit is um, is infinite. Okay, so therefore the these two limits don't equal to each other. Okay. All right. So the limit of the floor function divided by x as x approaches zero. So the overall limit, okay, does not exist. Okay, it doesn't approach a finite value. Okay, so therefore, because this limit doesn't exist, that tells us that the derivative of this function, of the floor function at zero, doesn't exist. Okay, so therefore, the derivative at zero right, does not exist. Okay. And that shows us that it's not differentiable at zero. Okay. All right. So we we um, we use the alternate form of the derivative. Uh, we compute the right-hand limit, the left-hand limit. Uh, the two these two uh, limits don't equal. So therefore, the overall limit doesn't exist. So therefore the uh, derivative at zero doesn't exist and that shows us that the function, uh, in this case the floor function, is not differentiable at x equals zero. Okay.